Now, the Jacob Zuma Foundation has released a statement accusing the State Capture Commission of abusing legal processes for political ends. The latest statement follows a September scathing attack by former president by the former president on Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, accusing him of being obsessed with him. He now also claims that the inquiry has failed to go after others who are also implicated in emptying state coffers. The statement comes a day before the Zondo Commission is expected to hear an application by the inquiry secretariat for former President Jacob Zuma to be subpoenaed to appear. I'm joined by Dumaule Muthaudi, who's watching these proceedings for us. Dumaule, yet another day, and it looks like the drama around whether or not uh, the former president will actually appear before the Zondo Commission of Inquiry, that continues. That continues to play out, Cathy, and you know, uh, as uh, the hours are ticking closer and closer, um, it's no surprise that the foundation, uh, in terms of the tone of the statement, is adopting uh, this particular line of commentary. We heard uh, in the previous statement that was released last month that they, they were already going on the offensive. And today, it's just more of the same. We will watch with bated breath tomorrow as how this unfolds. We're expecting, of course, that there will also be supporters of uh, the former president outside the Commission of Inquiry protesting, making their voice heard uh, as usual to basically... So, so what are they saying now? What's new in the statement, the, the latest one? Well, what's new in the statement is that they are upset, um, basically saying that uh, they received uh, a notification uh, from uh, the Commission of Inquiry that they had uh, to appear, uh, will, the former president will have to appear for that application for subpoena tomorrow. They said they only got it on Monday. However, Cathy, this is nothing new uh, because he would have known already by the time that uh, his uh, legal team had made that application to the commission when he was supposed to appear the last time, uh, you know, blaming ill health for his uh, absenteeism then and various other factors. Uh, they would have known that this date was set uh, by Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. So it's not new. The foundation coming out and saying that the commission only reminded them on Monday. Whether this is a good excuse or not, it is, remains to So does this mean that begrudgingly so, we will still see the former president at the Zondo Commission of Inquiry tomorrow? This seems to be the case, begrudgingly so, because uh, despite the you know, tersely uh, worded uh, statement, uh, there seems to be nothing more that, uh, uh, the uh, that the foundation or the former deputy president can do to avoid this particular matter. It might just be a, an issue of his legal team, though, Cathy, uh, pitching up before uh, the deputy chief justice to hear that application for the, for the subpoena um, to be issued, and then uh, they will just be arguing uh, the various legal um, you know, uh, terms and legal, uh, uh, you know, uh, conditions thereof. But um, in terms of what uh, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo had said, he was very strong that uh, the former president cannot choose and pick and choose when uh, he wants to appear before the commission. So, Tumala, if I'm hearing you correctly, tomorrow we can expect that the, the, the State Capture Commission of Inquiry will kick off with legal arguments yes. from the inquiry representatives, yes. including the legal representatives of the former president, that who will correct. argue over the subpoena. That is but correct. once they're done with that, the former president will still need to give his evidence. Well, or he, does it depend on how that argument goes? It depends squarely on how that argument goes. Um, and whichever way the argument goes, um, when you look at the posture of the commission, he will have to appear. The dates that have been set down for him to give his evidence mm. are for next month. So this is just basically uh, an argument about the subpoena because the commission has said that it has reached basically the end of the road in terms of trying to accommodate the former president and he has to come and give his evidence. What is the commission doing in order to prepare itself for tomorrow? Has there been anything uh, unusual? Is, uh, I mean, this, it's, it's an unprecedented hearing that, that is going to happen before the commission. We haven't heard any witness really and their legal representatives have to do what uh, the former president's lawyers are going to do tomorrow? Well, in terms of uh, the commission's preparations, it's business as usual. They would have uh, basically prepared for any eventuality given uh, the past treatment that the, the commission has uh, endured from uh, the former deputy president. So for them, it will be just a uh, business as usual. There's nothing spe uh, special uh, that has certainly been communicated from uh, their communications team. So it will just uh, be an, uh, a formality, and then we'll see how it plays out. All right. Well, it's going to be an interesting morning.
morning then at the Zondo Commission of Inquiry tomorrow, as you heard, um, different arguments expected in relation to the subpoena that is now being issued to get the former president to come back and effectively continue giving evidence. Tomorrow, Mithlaudi is going to be watching those proceedings and, of course, he'll, you'll have all the updates here on Newsroom Africa.